Face friends. I'm so excited to share with you my finish of The Moth by Jasmine Castillo from Distracted by Diamonds. Here is their logo. I got this on Etsy and I finished the moth. I think it took me about two and a half weeks to finish this. It is a square diamond painting. So let's take a look at the completed canvas, shall we? I just put it back in the box because literally I don't display my large diamond paintings. I don't do anything with them. I just shove them back in the box or I keep them in a large portfolio. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. Look at this baby. Look at it. It's beautiful. I think it turned out really nice. And me with squares, you know that I'm not one to make everything perfect. I'm not a perfectionist. So there might be some squares that are misaligned, but that's okay because I'm not going to complain. You can't even tell from far away. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you're new here and you like diamond painting, make sure you click the subscribe button. All you have to do is click it either with your finger or your mouse and you can subscribe to my channel to get new videos which I post on a regular basis. Anyways, this is the moth. It's beautiful. It was really fun to work on. There's a lot of like unexpected confetti though, especially in the background. Like you would think that the background would be one or two colors and maybe like a shadow here or there, but like Let's go down closer to the canvas and I'll show you. So here we have the corner of the canvas and you can see there's two colors spread out. And it was a lot, just a lot of like unexpected confetti. Here, I'll show you the top part too. The top part you can really tell. So I thought it was all gonna be like one color with maybe a darker color as a shadow, but it was literally like two colors, kind of almost checkerboarded, but not really. And it was just like, I put a drill upside down. Huh. Look at me. I told you guys I'm not a perfectionist. Whatever, it's in there. Is it in there? I can't, I don't know where that was. So anyways, yeah, you can kind of, oh. You can kind of see the confetti if you look close. So it wasn't a huge deal, and I think it did make a difference in the way that it looks. But, yeah, it was like, okay, like, I don't know. I don't like confetti. You guys know that. I like a lot of multi-placing, but I think it, it actually ended up looking really great with the confetti. Like, obviously, there's more detail when there is confetti. I'm happy with the way this turned out. Um, the outline here, so I also did the B from Distracted by Diamonds by Jasmine Castillo, and I used some sparklers on it. And I also used sparklers for this canvas as well. So you see, like, this outline here. And another thing is, I'm not sure if I should rip up these drills and then use the sparklers here as well. But the whole outline is sparklers. And I think I might actually rip up these drills and put down more sparklers here. Because I think this is, like, this is separated. I don't know how moths are. Whatever. Animal anatomy. So I think I might rip those up, put the sparklers down. But you can, I'll show you a closer look of the sparklers. You can kind of see them. So the whole outline is sparklers. I think it turned out really nice. I really like how it looks with the sparklers versus the white outline. And it's very like sparkly. Sparklers sparkly. Who would have thought? Let's do a tour of the canvas and then I'll bring you back and we can go over some of the things that I experienced while doing this canvas. I was actually smart and I kept notes while I was going through the canvas. So some of my notes are 
the some of the drills were staticky so all I did was cut up a dryer sheet into smaller squares or rectangles and then I put them inside of the boxes these actually these drills actually came in bags in baggies but I started it and I was like I don't like working out of these baggies so I eventually kitted it up in my Elizabeth Ward storage I will show you the leftover the drills in a minute and some symbols were hard to read I'll put I'll insert a picture here so the red background with the dark symbol with the black symbols on top of them they're kind of hard to read even if I turned on my light pad they were still hard to see so I had to kind of squint and strain my eyes to see it so that's something that I would say just needs improvement and I think that's really all I had to oh and some of the drills were popping as well so there is some trash but there is also a lot of drills that had extra tabs on the side and some of the drills would end up popping and I I saw like while I was filming this I saw a couple areas where the drills were popping off a little bit so I am gonna have to go over this and roll it roll it with a roller and to make sure the drills are all lying flat but I'm really happy with this kit like I would do this kit again if I had to it's nothing like the downsides to it wasn't anything that would make me not want to do this kit um let's go ahead and I will show you the leftover drills so here are the drills as you can see some of the containers have dryer sheets in them because of the static but this is how I kitted it up so I have a lot of 310 left and like a lot of this U so there is enough drills and I like wasn't worried about running out part way through and I like the extra that they had included. So yeah, that's the leftover drills. And I will insert a thumbnail of how this is supposed to look. Here is the completed diamond painting with the piece of artwork on the right hand side. This is how this is supposed to look. And I really do think that I like, it's really bothering me now that I'm seeing it side by side. I really want to cut out this middle area here or like rip up this middle area and put down sparklers. So that is something that I will do, but here they are side by side. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, Jasmine Castillo is very talented. Distracted by Diamonds, this is my second kit I've done from them, which I, like I mentioned earlier, I did the B from them. So I have not, like I don't have huge complaints or anything. I'm still gonna keep buying from Distracted by Diamonds. It was just kind of the drill quality and some, like some of the drills, not all of them. Some of them were staticky and then also the fact that some were popping, but it wasn't popping where it's like every other drill, every other section there was popping. It was mostly like just in little concentrated areas. So I'm not going to complain too much about it and I will buy from them again. I do have the Hornet and I have the Bee and I have the bat on the way all by Jasmine Castillo. So I'm like collecting her canvases. Um, if you have any questions about this canvas, feel free to leave them down below. Let me know your thoughts on this canvas. Is this something that you have in your stash that you haven't completed yet? Have you done this canvas? What are your thoughts on the process? What are your thoughts with the finished piece? Let me know. And if you're new here and you made it this far, I'd love to have you as part of my hive. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis. Basis, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.